Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy, Holy Father, we thank you, Lord. Bless the Trinity. We bless your holy name this morning. Let us worship the Lord our God this morning, the Lord who is ever faithful. Father, Lord, we thank you, Father, for your mercy that endures forever. Oh, Lord, we thank you for another brand new day. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor belongs to you, Lord, this morning. Our Lord and our God, faithful Father, we thank you for your thought toward us. Oh, Lord, it's more that can be numbered. Lord, we thank you, Father, Lord, for this day, Father, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand days. I swear. Lord, we thank you for bringing us to a place of prayer this morning, for calling us to yourself, Father, we thank you, because no man can come unto you except the Holy Spirit draws him. Holy Spirit, blessed Spirit, we thank you for drawing us to prayer and to power this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, we thank you because you are our God, and God above all gods. There's no other God like you. No, Father, Lord, we thank you from the rising of the sun until it sets. You are Lord and there is none beside you. Father, we thank you because Lord, you know, you know us. And Lord, Father, we thank you before. For we know your voice because we are your sheep, Lord God Almighty. And you say, my sheep, hear my voice. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Father, our Redeemer. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you are gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness. Lord, we praise you this morning. And we thank you, Father, Lord, for you know everything that is in our life working. And Lord, everything is working together for our good, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your word that is meek, that feed us, that nourish us. Thank you, mighty Father, for your word that is bread, that nourishes us. Thank you, Father, for your word is a lamb that shows us the pathway. Oh, Father, we thank you, Father. Your word is like armor that breaks every bondage. Thank you, mighty Father, Lord, for your word that is magnified. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your word is a great treasure. Thank you, Father. Because this, your word, is settled in heaven. Hallelujah be to your name this morning. Thank you, my Lord. Blessed be to your name, Father, for what you are going to do in our life this morning. We worship you for the blessing you have in store for us. Because your word said, daily, you loaded us with benefits. Gracious Father, thank you for the benefit of today. Even the benefit of waking up, seeing another new day, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah be to your name, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, let us come before the Lord this morning. The Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13 says, Whoever, that means whoever, young and old, conceals their sins does not prosper. But the one who confesses and renounces them find mercy. Ah, God of mercy is ever faithful, ever merciful. This morning, let us come before him. Make everything plain before him and ask God that my father, I've come before you this morning. Lord God Almighty, forgive me. I lay my sin is before you. Forgive me, Lord, for my laziness, for my vanity. Forgive me for my indulgence in the flesh. Lord, forgive me for my habit of falsehood, uh, for my dishonesty. Lord God Almighty, this morning I confess them, Lord, and I renounce them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, for living above my spiritual experience, Lord, forgive me for my unsatisfactory usage of the talent you have given to me. Maybe I'm the one that is hiding my talent and say, no, I'm not going to use it. Father, Lord, forgive me, Lord God Almighty, before you take it away from me and give it to those who have much already. Father, I pray that you forgive me, that I will wake up, O oh Lord, and use the talent that you have given to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, Father, let us pray that Lord this morning, let your spirit rule more and more in my heart, giving me victory over every sinful ways in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning, Lord, let your spirit rule more and more in my heart, giving me victory over all sinful ways in the name of Jesus Christ. And pray that my Lord save me and 
blot out my iniquities in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, save me and blot out my iniquities in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As the Father that my Father create in me a clean heart, O Lord. Lord, new every morning is your love. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, create in me a clean heart, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray that my Father deliver me from any false reliance upon my own strength, O oh Lord. Deliver me from any false reliance, from any false reliance upon my own strength, Father, Lord. Deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father. Deliver me from any false reliance upon my own strength, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us ask the Lord this morning. Mighty Father, order my steps and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord my Father, order my steps and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God say, the step of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Father, Lord, order my steps and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen. As we pray, that will lead us to Psalm 23 this morning. Let us open our Bible and confess and declare Psalm 23. Because we already asked the Lord to order our first step this morning. And as the good shepherd is going to lead us this morning. So let us pray, declare Psalm 23 this morning. Open your Bible to Psalm 23 and you make it personal to yourself the Lord is my shepherd I will put it on for those of us who are probably driving so you can hear it clearly Psalm 23 a psalm of David the Lord is my shepherd I lack nothing he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we've declared that now, let us pray that, Lord, let every evil imagination against me wither from the source in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I've already declared, surely your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life. Therefore, Father Lord, let every evil imagination against me, against my children, against my household, wither from the source in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let every evil imagination against me against my children against my business against my career against my life against my health you just put the name there this morning because the lord you have declared that the lord surely the goodness of the lord will follow me all the days of my life therefore let every evil imagination against me and my household with uh, from the source in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let every evil imagination against Against me, against my children, wither from the source. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the goodness of the Lord, will follow me all the days of my life. Therefore, those laughing me to scorn shall witness my testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare this morning, because the goodness of the Lord will follow me all the days of my life, and those laughing me to scorn, they shall witness my testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to the word of the Lord, those laughing me to scorn shall witness my testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, because the goodness of the Lord shall follow me all the days of my life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
I would love those who laugh at me to scorn with witness my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Because of your declaration this morning, pray that my Father, let the destructive plan of the enemy, him against me, blow up in their faces in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let the destructive plan of the enemy, him against me, blow up in their faces in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, Father, Lord, you are the one who prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Oh, mighty Father, let the destructive plan of the enemies, him against me, him against my household, blow up in their faces in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, let the destructive plan of the enemy aim against me, against my household, blow up in the faces of the enemy, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, let my points of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ because Father Lord, you anoint my head with toil and my cup overflow. Lord, this morning let my point of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let the point of ridicule in the life of my children be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, this morning we are asking you, let the point of ridicule in our life, in the life of our children, be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray this morning that my Father, let all power sponsoring evil decisions against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning I pray the Father, let all power sponsoring evil decisions against me and my household be disgraced, be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, because I will fear no evil, behold, you are with me, Lord God Almighty. This morning, let all power sponsoring evil decision against me, let them be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Pray that my Father, let the stubborn strong man delegated against me fall down to the ground and become impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. If they will lose their power. They must lose their power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let the stubborn strong man delegated against me, against my also fall down to the ground and become impotent to lose their power, not be able to move in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that stubborn strong man become weak in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father. Let the stubborn strong man delegated against me fall down to the ground and become impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let the stubborn strong man delegated against me, against my children, against their family, against their, their business, against their career, fall down and become impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord, let the stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram militating against me be smashed to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be the stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Satan, and Abiram militating against me, let it be smashed to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God divine, this morning, let every stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram militating against me, against my household, be smashed. Let it be smashed to pieces in in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, dismantle the stronghold of every spirit of Korah, every spirit of Dathan, every spirit of Abiram militating against me, against my children this morning, Lord, smash it to pieces, smash it to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Pray this morning. Because your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Father, Lord, let every spirit of Balaam hire to cause me fall after the order of Balaam. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let every spirit of Balaam hire to cause me fall after the order of Balaam. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because your word says, there is no enchantment against the come. Neither is there any divination against Israel. For according to this time, it shall be said of of Jacob and of Israel, what the Lord has done. So therefore, Father Lord, let every spirit of Balaam hire to cause this ministry, to cause 
anyone on this prayer platform fall after the order of Balaam in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray this morning. Because the goodness of the Lord will follow us all the days of our life. Let every spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah Planning evil against me, receive the stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ this morning. Because the Lord is our shepherd. And because the goodness of the Lord will follow us all the days of our life, as we have declared. Let every spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah, planning evil against me, against my household, receive the stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, disappoint them in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, let every spirit of Egypt fall after the order of Pharaoh in the name of Jesus. Spirit of Egypt is the spirit of slavery. Spirit of captivity, they encourage you. No freedom. Pray this morning, Father, Father, let every spirit of Egypt fall after the order of Pharaoh in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let every spirit of Egypt fall after the order of Pharaoh in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit of Herod be disgraced. That is the spirit that killed good things at infancy. This morning, every spirit of Herod that does not want me to reign, that does not want any other king, and as a result destroy thousands of children. This morning, every spirit of Pharaoh that killed good things at infancy, Lord, let them be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. In my life, in my household, in my ministry, in my career, in my family, in my church, every spirit of Pharaoh, oh Lord, disgrace them. Disgrace them in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, this morning, every spirit that killed good things at infancy, whether in my home, in my church, in my neighborhood, Father, Lord, disgrace them disgrace them this morning in the name of jesus christ father lord let every spirit of error be disgraced in the name of jesus christ in my life in the life of my children in every life of lord on this prayer platform this morning let every spirit of error be disgraced every spirit that kill good things at infancy in the name of jesus christ father lord disgrace them this morning in the name of jesus let them be disgraced in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ, they must be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that killed good things at infancy in the life of our children, this morning, Father God divine, we cry unto you, let them be disgraced, let them be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that every spirit of Goliath hmm, that is boosting, hmm, remember that story of Goliath, that is dear God in my life. That is dear God in the life of my children. Let that spirit receive the stones of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of Goliath receive the stones of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of Goliath that is threatening, that is boasting, that is making me to quiver eh, in fear. The children of Israel, they were afraid that no one did this morning. Every spirit that is challenging my God this morning, receive the stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of Goliath challenging my God, challenging my God, a challenging God in the life of my children, receive stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of Goliath in this household, in the name of Jesus, receive the stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray. That every spirit of Pharaoh fall into the rest of his own making in the name of Jesus Christ. After you are, they, they are saying, okay, you can go. They, then they continue again to pursue you. They say, oh, we made mistake. You must come back. You must hold you back. This morning, pray that every spirit of Pharaoh that is pursuing me, that is not allowing me to go into where God wants me to go this morning, in the name of Jesus, fall into the sea of his own making in the name of Jesus. Father and Lord, this morning, morning let every spirit of pharaoh fall into the red sea of his own making in the name of jesus christ every spirit of pharaoh that say no i must come back that is want to drive me back into the bondage that want to drive me back into the to the to the slavery into the place of slavery this morning father in the name of the lord jesus christ let that pharaoh let that pharaoh let that spirit 
fall into the Red Sea of his own making. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of Pharaoh is the spirit that draws one back, that he won't let you to go. He said, come back. And that is why if you are dreaming that you are back into the class that you've passed already, that is the spirit of Pharaoh. If you see yourself dreaming, that you see yourself on a line, you are at the back of the line, that is the spirit. They draw you back. Spirit of retrogression. Ah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cry against you this morning. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of Pharaoh fall into the Red Sea of his own making. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that my father, let all satanic manipulation aim at changing my destiny be frustrated, be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning, because your word said the goodness of the Lord will follow me all the days of my life. And Lord, I'm asking you, let all satanic manipulations aim at changing my destiny, at changing my children's destiny in the name of Jesus. Be frustrated, be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let all satanic manipulations aim as changing my destiny be frustrated be frustrated be frustrated in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen pray that lord let all unprofitable broadcasters of my goodness be silenced oh lord my father silence them silence them in the name of jesus christ let all unprofitable broadcasters of my goodness of my children goodness be silenced in the name of jesus christ father lord let all unprofitable broadcasters of my goodness be silenced this morning in the name of jesus christ for the goodness of the lord will follow me in all the days of my life in the name of jesus father silence every unprofitable broadcasters of my goodness in jesus name amen my father let all licking bags and pockets be sealed up in the name of jesus christ let all licking bags and pockets be sealed up in the name of jesus christ father lord let all licking bags and pockets be sealed up be sealed up this morning in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let all licking bags and pockets be sealed up in the name of jesus in jesus name amen pray that my father let all evil effect of strange touches be removed from my life in the name of jesus christ mighty father god let all evil effects or strange touches be removed from my life be removed from my children's life in the name of jesus christ any power that has laid evil hand upon myself upon my children this morning lord let every evil effect of strange touches be removed from my life be removed from my children's life be removed from my business be removed in the name of jesus christ be removed from my certificate in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let every evil effect of strange touches be removed be be removed from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to pray that in the name of Jesus, I command every blessing confiscated by which that spirit to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, standing on the authority of the word of God this morning, I command every blessing confiscated by which that spirit be released. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blessing confiscated by which God's spirit be released in the name of Jesus Christ every blessing confiscated by familiar spirit by ancestral spirit be released in the name of Jesus Christ every blessing confiscated whether by familiar spirit ancestral spirit envious enemies in the name of Jesus Christ be released be released in the name of Jesus Christ be released in the name of Jesus Christ all of my blessing confiscated by any evil power by rulers of darkness in the name of Jesus be released any blessing confiscated by principalities be released in the name name of Jesus Christ, because I'm seated with the Lord Jesus Christ at the right hand of God this morning, and I take my place of authority this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, I say, every blessing confiscated by principalities, by powers of darkness, in the name of Jesus Christ, be released, be released in Jesus' name, amen, in the name of Jesus, 
at command. All demonic revivals in store to hinder my progress is to receive the fire of God and be roasted in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all demonic revivals in store to hinder my progress be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we receive, we be roasted, receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, let all weapons and devices of oppressor and tormentor be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let all weapons and devices of oppressors and tormentors be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let all weapons and devices of oppressors and tormentors be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My Father, let the fire of God destroy the power operating any spiritual vehicle working against my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let your fire destroy the power operating any spiritual vehicle working against my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let the fire of God destroy the power operating any spiritual vehicle working against my life, against my children's life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord, my Father, let all the eaters of flesh and bring us of blood stumble and fall in the name of Jesus Christ because according to your word you said oh Lord when they come the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood, when they come, they stumble and fall. So, Father Lord, according to your word this morning, let the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood stumble and fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them stumble and fall in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let the wind, the sun, and the moon run contrary to every demonic presence in my environment. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the wind, the sun, and the moon run contrary to every demonic presence in my environment, in my children's environment, in any member of my household environment this morning. Father and Lord, I'm asking, let the wind, the sun, and the moon run contrary to every demonic presence in my environment right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the wind, the sun, and the moon run contrary to every demonic presence in my environment. In Jesus' name, amen. You devour us. Vanish from my labor in the name of Jesus Christ. You devour us. Vanish from my labor in the name of Jesus Christ. You devour us. Vanish from my labor in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, pray. Let every tree planted by fear in my life dry up to the roots in the name of Jesus Christ because you have not given us the spirit of fear but of a sound mind. So, Father Lord, this morning, let every tree planted by fear in my life dry up to the roots. It dry up to the roots in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, this morning, I pray, let every tree planted by fear in my life, in my children's life, dry up dry up to the roots in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let every tree planted by fear in the life of my children dry up to the roots this morning because any tree that the father has not planted shall be rooted out this morning let it dry up to the roots in the name of jesus for you have not given us the spirit of fear but of a sound mind therefore father lord let every tree planted by fear in our life in our children's life dry up to the root in jesus name amen amen hallelujah amen we're going to go to the word of god to encourage ourselves this morning hallelujah and we're going to go to first peter hallelujah. let's turn our bible to first peter this morning and see what the lord has for us while we're doing that i want to have make a quick announcement that tomorrow when we do the physician hour last saturday i started with is um, anointing oil biblical and so tomorrow by the grace of god we're going to finalize that and uh, we i'm encouraging us if you believe in it bring your anointing oil do not 
buy any thing that they say are not you know go to the store the grocery store buy olive oil okay and the reason i mentioned it that time that we shouldn't use any anointing oil you are a priest yourself so the process of doing this is to know for you to, what to do and how to use it and i will share with us you know the power the efficacy of using this anointing oil not just for for sick even for anointing your home and yourself then so we do that tomorrow so take time to be part of it and the lord will bless us in jesus name amen so i believe we're in first peter now chapter one first peter chapter one i will read from verses 17 since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially. Live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you are redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. It was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him, you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him. And so your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have, purif you have purified yourself by obeying the truth so that you have sincere sincere love for each other. Love one another deeply from the heart. I will stop there. Love one another deeply from the heart, from your heart, deeply. It's a reverent fear is the healthy respect of a believer for the all-powerful God. Because God is the judge of all the earth, we dare not ignore him or treat him casually. We should not assume that our privileged status as God's children give us freedom to do whatever we want. Mm -mm. We should not be spoiled children, but graceful children who love to show respect for our Heavenly Father. We have been redeemed. We're no more slave. You are a child of God. Christ's sacrifice for our sin was not an afterthought. No. Not something God decided to do when the world spun out of control. This plan of, of our redemption was set in motion by all knowing eternal God long before the world was created. So what a comfort it must have been to the Jewish believers to know that Christ's coming and his work of salvation was planned by God long before the world began. This assured them that the law was not being scrapped because it didn't work. But the law, both the law and the coming of Christ was part of God's plan. Another thing I want to bring out he mentioned sincere love for each other. Sincere love involved selfless giving. A self-centered person can't truly love. God love and forgiveness free you to take your eyes off, off yourself and to meet others. To meet others' needs. By sacrificing his life, Christ showed that he truly loves you and I. Now you can love others by following his example and giving of yourself sacrificially. Giving yourself sacrificially. Obedience is a trait we value in people and in animals. Some of us who have dogs. Owners take dogs to obedience schools. Parents want children to obey teachers. 
teachers want you know students to obey and bosses want their employees to obey sometimes mindless obedience is what we want from another don't ask just do we don't want to be mindlessly obedient to ourselves but we expect and welcome that trait in others as much as we value obedience we're generally not obedient people especially when it comes to god god doesn't demand our obedience he invites it i repeat that god doesn't demand our obedience he invites it we are invited to obey god through his commandments and through his prompting in our hearts most of us, we can obey the commandment that coincide with our, you know, with our laws. Don't kill, don't steal. The other commandments, such as not lying or coveting or worshiping only God, presents more problems to us. Obeying God when He asks us personally to do something that is difficult, it's even harder for us to do. Our Lord Jesus Christ was our example. Obedience, you know, our example of ultimate obedience. He only said that what he heard his father say and did, and did what he saw his father doing. Obedience to God led him to do all that he did, both loving the least and convicting those in power. Obedience to God leads us in much the same way. God's heart is for people, and obedience to him puts us squarely in the midst of people. We are called to be sought and light, to love and guide, to encourage and challenge. Obeying God sometimes puts us in a position against people. Okay? We must, you know, we need to be balanced. Obedience sometimes we put you and I against people. Just like the prophet Nathan, who challenges individual action, or as a, or as a Peter, preaching to power. One of the most miraculous outcomes of obedience is deep love. Deep love for people. God whose heart is for people cannot help but draw us to his heart. And once we are there, love for others follow. So this morning, my brothers and my sister, where is God asking you to obey? Where is God asking you to obey this morning? Examine your life. You know, the Spirit of God has been talking to you. Where is He asking you to obey? Obey. Obey the Lord. Faithfully trusting His leading. And step into His love. Faithfully trust His leading. And step into His love. Trust and obey. There is no other way. So this morning, instead of our prayer, the last prayer before we go to intercession, we will sing this song, Trust and Obey. Where is God asking you to obey? And my prayer to you is that God will help you to be an obedient child so we can have the fullness of God. So let us sing together.
trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank God for this session of uh, the prayer. The book of Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4 to 6 says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our sovereign. Yet we consider him punished by God, striking by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. We are all like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. This morning we are going to intercede for ourselves on uh, salvation prayer for salvation for our brethren, for people that are backsliding, and even for ourselves. Prayer for salvation is general prayer for all of us, because the word of the Lord made it clear to us 
that each of us has turned away to our own way, has turned, has turned to our own way, and to the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. We have been acting on our own way. So we are going to pray at this point. First and foremost, we start by praying, asking God, we want to thank him for the gift of Jesus Christ, for having Jesus Christ in your life. We thank you for giving the life of your son, Jesus Christ, on the cross for me. Lord, I want to thank you for giving the life of your son, Jesus Christ, on the cross for me. Lord, I'm putting my trust in Jesus for my forgiveness and for my life. Lord, I want to live my life for you. I want to do your own will and not my will in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I surrender my life to you. I need your help, Lord, because I can't do this on my own. I cannot do this on my own. Father, I ask in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that you took, you put your Holy Spirit in my heart. I want your Holy Spirit to be at work in every part of my life. Lord, thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for coming into my life by your Holy Spirit. Lord, you are my father. I am your child. I'm, a, I'm yours forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10 says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you confess and you are saved in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray at this hour again. Wait for that. As we are praying for ourselves, I pray for our brethren. People that are backsliding. If I backslide ourselves, we are going to pray for ourselves. We are going to ask in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray for his forgiveness. We are going to pray for his forgiveness. Lord, that he will help us to turn away from our sins. He will help our brethren to turn away from their sins. And uh, to put our trust in Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask God at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus that will help you. We will forgive all your iniquities and help you to turn away from your sin. We help our brethren to turn away from their sins. That's the only way to have salvation is to turn away from, 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 from our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of the Lord in the book of John chapter 1, verse 12 says, As many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his holy name. Father, we are going to pray. Praise for slushing. As we surrender our lives and are filled by his Holy Spirit, pray for slushing. As you are surrendering your life again, pray for lordship. Pray for our lost brothers. Pray for everyone that you know that need God's salvation at this hour. Pray that as we surrender our lives and are filled by his Holy Spirit, let God take absolute control of everything concerning us in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask God to take absolute control of everything in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. We have, in the, in the initially we said we cannot do it all alone. We know we cannot do it all alone. We need God. Ask him that he will come into your life afresh. He will come into our brother's life afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. He will come into my life afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the word of the, uh, the, the Bible says, in the book of uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 13, that uh, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Can you share with him that you are truly sorry for all your sins? Ask that you are truly sorry for all your sins. For things that you have done that hurt him. Things you have done that does not glorify his name. Can you ask him on behalf of your brethren, of your brothers and sisters, on behalf of your children? If there are things they are doing that you know, that you can understand, that it is not in line with what God wants us to do, lift your voice before the throne of God and pray for them. Now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we are sorry. We are sorry. We are sorry for things that we are doing that is not according to your directive to our life. Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, because of the blood of your son that was shed on the cross at Calvary, we are asking for forgiveness. Lord, forgive us of all our iniquity in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you ask him to forgive you for all your sins again? Ask him to forgive for all your sins in, in, the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask him to forgive your sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you thank him for sending his son, Jesus Christ, to pay the price for our sins on the cross at Calvary? Can you tell him that you will turn away, that you are ready to turn away from your sins in the mighty name of Jesus, from anything in your life that is not pleasing unto him? Tell him that you are ready to turn away from that. Can you tell him that you want him to do his will and not your own will? You want, tell him that you want to continue to do his will and not your own will in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you teach me that the Holy Spirit will come into me and I will do your will and your will only 
not my will in the mighty name of Jesus, that I will do your will for the rest of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray the same for my brothers, for my sister, for my children, for my wife, that Lord will be able to live for you and for you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. By grace, you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, that no one should boast. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8 to 9 says, By grace you have been saved, through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, that no one should boast. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you let him know that you need his help, because you cannot do it only on your own. You cannot do it all alone. The word we have read just says it is by what? It is by his grace. It is not about our, our good work. It is not about our, the result of our good work. Can you ask him again in the mighty name of Jesus? Can you let him know that you need his help because you cannot do it alone? Father, I ask in the mighty name of Jesus. I confess with my mouth on behalf of my children and my wife that we cannot do it alone. We cannot do it, do it alone. Our righteousness is like a fruit right before you. Father, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. After all this struggle in this world, we want to be able to be with you in your kingdom. We are asking that you save us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, save my children. Save my brothers and sisters. Save my wife in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are all working progress, working towards the kingdom agenda, Father, we pray that you save us from our iniquities in the mighty name. Can you ask him to put his Holy Spirit into your heart, to fill you with his love in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, just finish praying about love, love. That we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that Almighty God will put His Holy Spirit in our heart to fill us with love in the mighty name, of, to fill us with His love in the mighty name of Jesus. Not He say if I He say if I shall if I to you all about what I Ask Him at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus that God will put Holy Spirit in your heart and to fill your to fill you with His love in the mighty name of. Jesus. It is only with His love that you can be saved in the mighty name. Of Jesus. You would like to thank Him for, for for forgiving you. You want to thank Him for forgiving you. Because it's only him that can forgive you. It's only him that can forgive you. And you thank him that for forgiving you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you that he has forgiven you. Because you have confessed your sin, you ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to forgive you in the mighty name of Jesus. We would like to thank him for giving you eternal life. We want to thank you for giving you eternal life. Father, I want to thank you again in the mighty name of Jesus for the gift of eternal life. It is only you that can give it. Father, I want to give honor to your name. I'm so grateful to you. That you are giving me eternal life, not only what I'm getting in this world, but to be able to live with you in your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for this gift. Thank you for this gift in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray again. We are going to pray. We would like to thank Him for being your Father and making you His son, making you His daughter, making us His children in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Him that for being your Father, Lord. I want to thank you because you are my Father. The Word. Your word in the book of Matthew teaches that we should pray unto you as our Father, because you are indeed our Father. Lord, we want to thank you, everlasting Father, for being our Father, for being my Father, for being the Father to my children, Father to my wife in the mighty name of Jesus, to be Father to my children in the mighty name. Can you let him know that he's your Lord and you are his servant? Can you let him know that he is your Lord and you are his servant? Can you thank him for all he has done to give you a brand new life? Can you thank him, Father, I want to worship you again? I thank you for giving me a brand new life. I thank you, Lord Almighty, for us bringing me to repentance. I thank you for this hour that you are able to communicate to me again. Your righteousness, you are, make, make, you are able to make me realize it is only you that can save me. It is not by my righteousness, not by my own right work, but it's by your grace. Lord, thank you for this season. Thank you for this time in the mighty name. Can you tell him that you pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus? Can you tell him, can you ask, can you pray to him at this hour that all this, Say that to him because he's your Lord and Savior in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we want to worship you. We give honor to your name. We give honor to your name. Lord, as we have come together at this hour to recommit ourselves, to pray for one another, to intercede for our brethren, to intercede for ourselves, concerning our salvation, Lord, Lord, that we pray. For everything that we have asked today, Lord, we pray that you answer us in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you teach us to be able to live a righteous life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, the one that can guide us. Father, let him continue to abide with us from now onward in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not live for ourselves alone, but live for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us be able to rely totally on you for answers to all our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Almighty God, we thank you. 
Thank you for the gift of Holy Spirit. Thank you for the, the for, for this season. Thank you for you being called to be a Christian. Thank you for the opportunity that we have. Lord, we want to thank you because it is by your righteousness. It is just you that granted the opportunity. There are billions outside who doesn't really know you. But we thank you, Lord, that this grace that we have. Each and today, I set our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we ask at this hour that you answer our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Spirit of Holy Spirit be upon each and every one of us. Abide with us. Guide us through the rest of these days, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everybody.